Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we are back on the channel, you know, with fresh videos, fresh reviews, we had a week off, um, you know, a holiday break, uh, and it's time to jump back into the films that have been dropping in the past couple of weeks. We have Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, the third possible finale to the series. There is rumoured, obviously, to be five, um, but obviously I'll talk more about that when I get to review the Sonic two review coming very soon uh you know lego star wars skywalker saga dropped um uh, halo moon knight so much is coming out and you know we're going to be back to reviewing them so welcome back to the channel of course hit that subscribe button if you have not yet done so leave a like if you're enjoying what you've been seeing you can have daily regular content from today a proper scheduled um organized um uh uploads of gaming reviews and everything else but obviously stay tuned for that but today we are here to talk about fantastic beasts secrets of number as i said let me know down below what you think of this film uh you know there's, all, there's been so many different opinions on these first one i thought was fantastic the second one i haven't seen in a while uh, so I was remembering elements as I went through this film of, oh yeah, that's how it ended. Oh yeah, that's what that happened. But yeah, um, I want to say before we go into this, was a terrific film. Definitely go check it out for yourself. If you're a fan of Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beast duo duology before this one came out, you will definitely have a class time, even with the absence of Johnny Depp. Um, and obviously enjoy the video. Spoilers ahead as I talk about all things that happened in the film from plots, characters, and the future of Fantastic Beast. Without further ado, let's go. So the third iteration of the Fantastic Beast series is finally here, The Secrets of Dumbledore. The introduction of Mads Mikkelsen, who was obviously the recast of Gellert, uh, Gellert Grindelwald, replacing Johnny Depp after all the court case stuff with Amber Heard. So obviously he filled in for that role with the returning of Eddie Redmayne, Jude Law, uh, Ezra Miller, Dan Fogler, Callum Turner, you know, Alison Sudol, and many, many others. It was a, this film was brilliant, you know, the th bringing the trilogy together, you know, every element of how far we've come and seeing the characters we love so much achieve the end points in their journey. You know, you got to see a really good relationship between Newt Scamander and his brother Theseus. I think Theseus stepped up massively from the last film because it was an introduction in the last film to him. And I didn't think he was uh, that good in the last film, but this one, he was terrific. He was definitely one of the better parts of the film. Eddie Redmayne is absolutely phenomenal as Newt Scamander. The scene with the crabs where he does like the sort of sway of the hips, the funniest scene in the whole film. Um, I think, you know, that scene where he spoke to Dumbledore about, you know, we always get a moment in life where it'll be, we'll be redeemed even with all our, mas our mistakes. And when the chilling bowed to him at the end, I thought it was a fantastic scene and we got to see the Dumbledore that we have all grown up and loved in Richard Harris and uh, Michael Gambert. So, and I want to say this, Jude Law, did a phenomenal job as well. He's terrific. He's charismatic. He just, you know, he's on that screen. The acting's effortless from him, from Eddie Raymaine, uh, Mads Mikkelsen. He, I want to say this. I have so much respect for Johnny Depp. Um, he did a great job in uh, The Crimes of Grindelwald, you know, in every other project he's ever done, I've loved. But Mads Mikkelsen truly showcased what Gellert Grindelwald should have been like from the start. He was a better villain than Johnny. Um, I think he just delivered so well. His lack of e empathy, his lack of, you know, he, he, the way he slit the, the chillin's throat, um, his hate, in, you know, when he got angry for uh, towards a... Um, uh, credence he was just angry in scenes when he used the cruciatus curse on dan fogler's character jacob kowalski it was painful to watch certain scenes 
But this film, you know, two hours, 20 minutes, it was a great build up, a great delivery, a great ending and a great uh, sort of tease for what we possibly could get if we get a Fantastic Four. Uh, sorry, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Beast Four. Um, you know, they tied everything up, you know, uh, you know, you know, Queenie and Jacob, they got married at the end. Tina returned and the reunion with Newt was as would be as you as expected. Awkward, but nice and cute. Um the scene where Dumbledore thanks Newt and the Newt said he would return at the, uh, anytime he needed him. Their relationship was the heart and soul of the three films. You know, Dumbledore didn't appear in the first one, but it was built on, you know, Newt's bravery, his courageousness. You know, Jacob Kowalski was a standout in this film. And I loved his relationship with Dumbledore in this film, Albus Dumbledore. You know, Aberforth's involvement, uh, their sister, Ariana. I loved how the portrait in the room where Harry, Ron, and Hermione stood before they went into uh, the Gryffindor common room. Um, everything about this film was fantastic. And there was a scene in this film that just made uh, me smile so much. There was this briefcase scene in the open the mall. And they just chuck so many different Harry Potter things in there. The snakes, the quaffle, not the quaffle, the, the bludger, uh, the monster books from Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban. I just think this film was completely incredible in every single way. Hogsmeade and Hogwarts and the Slytherins acting like arseholes, um, giving the sweets to Jacob and the Slytherin banisters and the three points to Hufflepuff and the room of requirement. <laughs> This film elevated everything the last two films didn't. The first film I see as a safe film that introduced us to Fantastic Beasts and edged us into the story of Dumbledore and Grindelwald, as they, as a, a Jude Law would say. Um, and then the crimes of Grindelwald showcased how much of a villain he could be. And then the third film was tying loose ends up and everything that could, you know, be for Newt's story. I do believe if a fourth film is made, Newt, Jacob, Queenie, Tina, and the rest of the cast of the core members will not return. And we could see Dumbledore face off against Grindelwald with a new set of people. Maybe the, some of the teachers at Hogwarts now that the blood pack is destroyed. I think Ezra Miller, you know, there's a lot of stuff going around about Ezra, but I've got to say he delivered in this film. Uh, I always like to separate the actor from the real world and his performance. Um, you know, he did a terrific job. I'm not saying I want to see him in the sequels. But that's none of my business. Whatever happens, happens. Um, I think he delivered perfectly. He's now with Aberforth and the reveal that he was Aberforth's son was fantastic and you know Yusuf's involvement when he turned around and stunned all those uh, dark wizards when you thought he might have turned on Theseus and Eulalia I just think god if you're a Harry Potter fan and you don't enjoy these films you are missing the big point uh, like there was a guy who was on a dark film just called Helmet his vault was really cool because he was like the, the front line man for Grindelwald um, you know, yeah, the, the 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 whole German stuff was fantastic in the fight scenes, and then to see Dumbledore and Grindelwald have a fight scene, I just thought it was, you know, I, I think about this film, and there's just so many good points. Mads just brings and elevates it. You know, we saw the killing curse at the start from Ezra Miller when the uh, big chilling was killed. And obviously there was twins. The opening is one of the greatest openings in Harry Potter history. Uh, you think it's calm. You think Newt's there. He's going to get the chilling. He's going to pop him in a suitcase and walk away. But no, there's dark entities of Credence and his followers attacking and killing and then the bit where the suitcase is running with its own arms and legs, I thought that was very funny and very fitting for the world. I like how the main plot was focused around a fantastic beast. Um, you know, they use Niffler and they use Pickett um, in the vault seed with the uh, crabs. I, I, I just, there was nothing I hated about this film. Maybe a little bit slow in places, but it wrapped up things. It, it, you know, it showcased certain character relations we didn't think we'd ever get. Um... I have to say, if I had to say who was the best character in this, it would be Jude Law. I think him as Dumbledore was so, you know, people judged him too quickly about Jude becoming Dumbledore because he doesn't really resemble Michael Gambit really well. Uh, but I think he was a standout alongside Eddie Remaine and Jacob Kowalski. I think those three characters were phenomenal for what they did. Uh, it's just a beautiful film. 
And, you know, to see Jacob get married to Queenie at the end, which truly made me as a viewer really happy. And I just, this film is, is a perfect film. It's one of those perfect Harry Potter world films ever. Uh, and I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10. I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10. People may disagree, may, people may not. People may actually agree with me. I don't know. I had a great time. The plot was perfect. If this is the end of the trilogy, I'd be so happy. I would love to see Jude and Mads return. Uh, you know, and obviously I would love to see Eddie return, but I think Eddie's story is dumb. Um, but, you know, you know, never say never, never say never. But... Um, We'll wait for the information to come out. We will see what happens. I am going to make a predictions video anyway uh, for what I think may happen in Fantastic Beast 4. Um, I'm going to give a trilogy talk and see and let you guys know whether I think I was satisfied. Um, in my opinion, it's one of my favourite trilogies of all time now. Um, it's, it's, it's always a hard thing to watch because of obviously we've taken three different Grindelwalds in a different way because like Colin, Colin Farrell was Grindelwald in a way and then obviously because Johnny Depp was revealed to be um, uh, Colin's character in the film and then Johnny Depp was in the second one and then we got Mads Mikkelsen so it's really cool it's a trilogy but you've got three different villains who play the, technically the same character because Colin's character was taken over partly through the film. So that's what I love about the series, even though there's a different main villain actor because of things that went on and because of how it just worked out. It just works. You, you don't think anything of it. I thought they may have showed like a transformation scene of Johnny Depp's character turning into Matt Mickelson. Something may have happened, I don't know. But um, they handled it well, they did it well. Um, I loved the scenes where they went into like the white mist with Grindelwald and... Uh, uh, and Dumbledore, they work so well. Minerva's involvement and just everything. This film, it's it's fantastic. It is truly what it is, is in the name. It's a fantastic film about fantastic beasts, characters we've grown up to love, and actors that have delivered on multiple occasions. So go check this film out for yourself. I intend to watch The Crimes of Grindelwald this week, and they will, then we will be jumping into the Harry Potter films on a sporadic schedule. Um, so don't miss them. Don't miss my, um, as I said, um, trilogy talk and predictions coming very soon. Stay tuned for more content. And obviously, of course, the big video, next big video review that will be coming is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Of course, I can't wait to talk about that. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.